Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss approximate composition analysis of food and drug. In part 1, we will study moisture content, ash content and lipid content. So first of all, we should know what is approximate composition analysis. It is the determination of moisture content, ash content. We will use muffle furnace method fruit, fat or lipid content in which we will study succulent extraction, crude protein content or total protein content, carbohydrate content and crude fiber content. First one is the determination of moisture content. The aim of this study is measuring the percentage of water by drying sample to a constant weight. What is the principle for that? Water is evaporated under high pressure and loss of water is calculated. Instruments used for moisture content measurement is crucible, hot air oven and digital balance. Protocol Weigh a fresh sample immediately after taking the sample and record as wet weight. Dry the sample in an oven at temperature not exceeding than 115-115 degree centigrade. Dry sample until constant heat. It takes 1 to 2 hours depending on type of sample. Allow the sample to cool down and weigh the cooled sample and record as dry weight of the sample. For calculation, we use a formula which is given here in which W1 is the wet weight and W2 is the dry weight. In this way, we can measure percentage moisture of the sample. Determination, second is the determination of ash content. What is ash content? It is the residue remaining after incineration by burning is the ash content. It contains inorganic salts of carbonates, phosphates and silicates of sodium, potassium, calcium and magnesium. The aim of this study is measuring the ash content of sample using muffle furnace. Principle: The sample is incinerated at high temperature up to 450 degree centigrade for a longer period to convert sample into ash. Instrumentation used for this is muffle furnace which is shown uh, at the right side, oven, hot air oven or is placed inside the muffle furnace with sample, balance, spatula and gloves Protocol Weigh empty heat dried crucible and place about 3 gram of ground material in crucible. Incinerate the material by gradually heating in a muffle furnace. Heat up to 450 degrees centigrade for about 3 hours until the sample is free from carbon. Cool and weigh the sample. Calculate the ash value in milligram per gram of dried sample by applying the given formula in which W1 is the weight of ash while W2 is the weight of dry sample. In this way, we can calculate percentage ash value. The third we will study in this video is crude lipid content or crude fat content. It is also known as ether extraction and we use succulent apparatus. Crude fat lipid is crude mixture of fat soluble material in the sample. It is also known as ether extract or free lipid content. It may include glycerides which includes triglycerides, diglycerides or monoglycerides, steroids may include hormones, free fatty acids, fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E and K, chlorophyll and carotene pigments. Principle of this method is 
Crude fat determination is based on solubility of lipid in non-polar organic solvents such as in hexane, petroleum ether, which is aliphatic hydrocarbons in boiling range of 35 to 60 degree centigrade, which includes isopentane, etc. Supercritical liquid carbon dioxide can also be used. Instrumentation For crude lipid extraction, we have to use suck slate assembly, heating mantle, or we can use hot plate, rotary evaporator, and desiccator. The figure on the left side shown here represents suck slate assembly in which there is a round bottom flask or distillation flask which is placed on heating mantle or hot plate and the distillation path from where vapors goes inside the condenser and inside the condenser these water vapors cool down and fill into the liquid sample in, into the sample which is present in thimble so the sample is placed inside the thimble and the extractant will be passed through siphon and will be mixed inside the distillation flask. In this way, succulent assembly works. We have to use also rotary evaporator or it is also known as vacuum evaporator or rotor vapor it is used for the evaporation of the solvent from a sample or we can say that it is used to dry our sample or evacuate our sample through vacuum pump and heating. Protocol for this method is prepare a thimble with known amount of dry sample. Take a piece of cotton and place it on the top of thimble sample. Insert the thimble in a succulent extractor and weigh a clean dry 500 ml round bottom flask which is also known as distillation flask and pour 300 ml of petroleum ether inside the flask. Assemble the apparatus and place over an electric heating mentor. Heat the solvent in the flask until it boils and solvent drips from condenser into the sample chamber. Remove extraction unit from heat source, detach the condenser and allow to cool down. Evaporate solvent by vacuum evaporator or any other heating source. Dry the sample in an oven at 102 degrees centigrade until heat of 1 to 2 hour. It takes 1 to 2 hour. Cool the flask in a desiccator and weigh it again. Continue extraction for 6 hour. For calculation of the crude fat, in the sample, we can use the following formula. W1 is weight of empty flask. W2 is weight of flask and extracted fat. And S is the weight of the sample. In the next lecture video, we will study determination of total crude or total or crude protein, determination of total carbohydrate or determin and determination of crude fiber content. Thanks for watching my video.